Hello and welcome to my 10th Python tutorial. Since this is the 10th tutorial, I um, guess I would show you uh, a program um, of a game that um, has most of the basic concepts that we've learned, but not everything. And it's really a spoiler of what you can look forward to once you have completed all of my tutorials and watched all of them. So I'm going to open up my tic-tac-toe.py, open that up, bring it here. So this is the tic-tac-toe program, and as you can see, it's pretty long. It's 187 lines of code, which is quite a lot. And I'll go ahead and run that for you. So it starts off by prompting us a message. Do you want to be X or O? I'll choose X. And it uh, chooses randomly which you want, uh, which who will go first you are the computer and I've decided it the computer chose a random number between 0 and 1 and if it's over um, 0.5 then the human goes first if it's under then the computer goes first or maybe the other way around I don't remember but in this use the um, numpad to play which is located on the right side of your computer where one is the uh, sorry seven is the top left and one is the bottom left and so on um, now we we just type in our move and we uh, press enter and then it the computer makes its move and we uh, keep on playing so I pick seven computer goes there I will pick the bottom right block the computer there and I win now it asks us um, do you want to play again yes or no you can ask we say uh, no thanks now let's look at the main code and not the uh, functions that are uh, used inside. So the whole thing is a nested while loop and while true meaning it's an infinite loop and the board and um, it asks us for the, um, it uses the functions that we've defined, so, but the functions are pretty self-explanatory, because they've been named nicely, so we understand what, um, what they are. Turn equals who goes first, this will be important, because, uh, we want to know who goes first, another while loop inside it while game is playing which is true as we've just put if turn is equal to player then this goes this happens if um if the player won then it says yeah you won the game otherwise it um says it's a tie and then there's a nested thing a nested else in that um says uh turn is the computer this could be uh this could use um a elif but um then it wouldn't have an else and wouldn't be good this then this is the computer's turn, which is um, an AI that 
is to find up here somewhere. Yeah, right here. This is the AI. Then, oh. This is lined up with this. So this is just a giant nested if else statement. And this is the general else. That's why we don't have the elif statement there. Um, because otherwise it's the computer's turn. And this happens. It, it checks for the same thing. We could uh, copy this code over here. And then we could have a two player game. Or um, ask, is there two players or one player? And if there's two players, then it has this set of two uh, player codes. And if it's one player, then it's the computer and the player code. Let me bring that up for you. And then... If it's not playing again, because we said no, then we exit the while loop. And that pretty much sums it up for this little spoiler slash tutorial. Uh, I will see you next time.